right, Schman, is it ever the right time to tell your partner they're getting fat? Wow, we're getting it's a pod, we're getting right into it. Not a cast pod, getting right into it. Let's be honest. Because people have had this debate over the years, but you really do need to tell your partner when they're getting fat, right? We're getting fat. We are. And I'm not going to name who it is, but it is a mutual friend of ours. She, I talked to her last week and she said, God, I watch all of your podcasts with you and Dan and you guys are great. And, you know, Dan looks like he's getting that uh, man growth and you know he looks and like, growth no, i know she hold on it was like a man spread you know she said he's really coming into his own i'm blossoming is that what that's that's not work but she basically okay. you know sucking it oh stop it i don't want to make you self-conscious because well, i ask you daily i go my fat and i don't own a scale and i say i say to you pick me up and tell me if I feel the same lightness mm -hmm. that we felt. Like and I usually say I've already had a hernia surgery once. <laughs> that's what you tell mm -hmm. me. You say, oh, I sit on your lap because that's my that's my scale mm -hmm. for you to judge. See how, how much oxygen or carbon dioxide comes out of my mouth when you sit on me. The <laughs> And you always over-dramatize it. You always, oh, oh. Oh, I'm in my hernia, my hernia. I go, oh my God, please. I also have a degenerative disc in my back. Oh, so. my disc, mm -hmm. my disc. Now, I know I have a little bit of a FUPA issue mm -hmm. going on here. And if you <laughs> no, continue, well, I do, mm -hmm. I do. But it's, you know, it's, I know it's like pregnancy weight. I've had these pregnancies that, you know, we're working on it. We're going to have a healthy one, but mine haven't worked out. And I have this little pooch that I can't really get rid of. But then my friend, you know, our friend said that, I don't know what she meant, but she just said, you know, he's really coming into his own. He has, All right, he's listen, really getting a man spread. And okay, I thought, it's well, not. First off, I'm not sitting in an ergonomic chair. So I end up slouching like this. And it's not the most flattering view, anonymous friend. Oh. So, But if I sit up like this, you know. Oh, you do look Now scared. I look a little, it's, it's the camera. Uh, I, when I went for my cardiologist uh, checkup and I was weighed, I'm within my, uh, my fighting weight. I'm not quite at my, um, not on my point guard weight that I, that I like to be at, but you know, beach How season off. Are you from your point guard weight? Four, 10 pounds? four or five pounds. Oh, yeah. that's bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, you know, I get, get after it a little bit and, and I'll, you know, I wear that, um, that, uh, that sweatsuit that doesn't breathe and, uh, jump rope in a sauna for a little bit and all of a sudden beach season well i mean but we're a body positive uh podcast here so don't do what you need to do just be happy with yourself well and i have to say then it's all it's all up to the person because then i got another message this week that said that you are looking fine Ooh. from my friend jared who Ooh. was a former Hot 99.5 listener, been a longtime friend of mine and listener. And he says, you're looking hot as ever when we well, were at. So it's all up for interpretation, but- I'm going to improve my posture and for the remainder of this podcast. I know. I'm always curious. Like, do you think in a loving way, you we, we have this, this we, we always say that we mm -hmm. will tell each other mm -hmm. and you do tell me. Well, you ask, you, know the you ask and- well, there's there was that one moment after a long holiday filled with um, many, many baked goods where you asked me, are you super attracted to me? And I said, not super. And that was such a horrible answer, by the way. But first of all, I was so much skinnier than I am even now. I was so hot then. I was so snatched. You were never going to get anyone better. And that was such a, that was such now, an awful, now awful I, answer. And now you know why I don't <laughs> answer the question anymore, or at least honestly. So, Well, you will tell me if my FUPA, because it is really weird. My, I have like a little FUP, and, yeah. but it, like my pants are so tight, the FUP is in it. And it, he's almost like moose knuckles or something. Well, I, like, I call it front butt. And, and <laughs> have you have, well, now. there are certain pants that, accentuate the front butt like they draw attention to it so mm -hmm. you know we all have our um you know, i want to rock you know we all have our uh I, i've got a pair i gotta try on for you where the front butt is so intense and i'm kind of feeling like it's actually com like comedic that i ought to wear it out and see if people photograph me mm. it's such a front vag like i mean i have a vagina in the front but it is such a 
knuckle, like a moose knuckle, like un- I gotta well, try these. You know what? Burrito. That's I, I okay. feel like we have a fashion show coming up soon. All right, it's always a delicate subject when it comes to weight, but I did wonder if you know there's ever I I would tell you and you would tell me if it became more than probably five. Yeah, I mean pounds. if you're if you're washing yourself with a rag on a stick because <laughs> you can't reach all the spots or. I have to like have you hold the harness in bed to lift you out of the bed. We're we're in some serious issues. We'll get we'll we'll address it before we get to that point. Well, I, you know, everybody online always says if you watch my six hundred pound life, not one is single. Not one of them. People are happy about their weight. Good to have goals. Yeah. So uh, a couple of things we're going to talk about. We Last week on the show, we have to read some feedback. We've been getting feedback because we did the topic, are kids being tested for mm-hmm. disabilities too much? Mm-hmm. The overall consensus, which I will get to, is you guys said no. You don't. You don't really agree with me. And you never really answer. You're always like uh, Switzerland. You always have a white flag up. You know, you know, for once, but okay, well, whatever. Okay. I mean, you all, well, Switzerland is neutral. You're always Correct. Norwegian. You know, you look Norwegian. Okay. Switzerland and Norway are two different, but uh, they're both neutral. They never get involved okay. in anything. They're, they're just blase. They're all beautiful right. countries, beautiful people, but they never have an Shout opinion out on Switzerland anything. Switzerland and Norway. You don't. Now, Geography on lessons. Hands, um, you know, I'm a fiery country. I have opinions, mm-hmm. okay? That's the God's honest. So we'll get to those. We had a sports um, feedback about you giving advice for people if um, families, if you sports are destroying kids. Mm-hmm. That And then the topic we have today is when did inflation, when did you realize that inflation's out of control? Mm. Because we went to the LA County Fair, 10 out of 10 insanely five good stars. i mean five, like everything it was clean the food was awesome the people looked like five-star waiters that were running the yeah not a lot stand. of carnies they i don't i didn't see any carnies it looked like they had legitimate no offense to the carnies who are listening here but they they had uh there was a there was a level of professionalism there it, insane professionalism mm-hmm. everybody had a full set of teeth now i'm fortunately for maine not you all know, the guests but we're talking about well, most of them did, which is really rare at a county fair. I've been to a lot of them in Maine, but we went and I'm talking tickets, parking, our son. Are we getting into this or is this still a preview of the no, topic? This is this okay. is, we're getting into okay. it. I'm previewing the feedback we'll get to. Got it. And then we have a, a, a topic that's going viral about a couple kind of around this, this topic of money and amusement parks, okay. like how, who should pay what, but anyhow. So when did inflation hit you? We went and for one three-year-old to go and us, over $200. Mm-hmm. It was expensive. Tickets were 25 each for you and me. KJ was free. Yeah, or were, were they 20? They were, you know, we 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 bought them beforehand. So the tickets were 20 bucks each. KJ was free under, I think it was kids under five. $25 to park. And we did not mm-hmm. do VIP parking. No. So right there, we're almost at 100. 65, but. Okay, well, whatever. Sixty-five. I mean, okay, fine. Math. All right, that's, we're, we're come on. We're doing this out. Let's not exaggerate the facts here. But All right, on. but then how much did you spend in ride tickets and the game ride tickets? tickets is where they got you because I bought. It, I think the ride the it was a combination of ride and game tickets. You could buy uh, in different increments. I prepaid, bought fifty bucks for forty tickets. And that little dinky roller coaster, you mean KJ Road? How many tickets? That was 15 tickets right there. So then um, anything else, any other tickets, that that slide we went on with the potato sacks, I think those were three tickets each. So right then and there, there's 24 tickets. Now what are we up to, 115? Uh, No, I mean, like if if we really wanted to play more games, uh, because I ended up buying some more to win that stuffed seagull. Um, I used, I okay. won a game of chance, by the way, it wasn't much of a game of chance. You just had to keep pumping tickets and do it, but the, uh, yeah, it was expensive. Well, you know, between the, the admission parking and the games, that was about $115, right, right that there. And that doesn't include any additional tickets, uh, that we purchased or any of the food that we purchased. That was for a three-year-old who, by the way, wanted to do a roller coaster, did it, hated it, Mm -hmm. did not want to go on another ride. He talks about it, though. He talks about it. He talks about Mm -hmm. it. Then 
okay, this is for a kid that really doesn't want to participate yet. Mm -hmm. And it was $200. And then, of course, the food, because we had to get fresh cut French fries. Well, we, and... we had the puffy tacos. We had the fresh cut French fries. We had the fresh lemonade. We had a, a, a uh, off. We had a bar it was good. the hot dog from the barbecue place that you uh, enjoyed. I was, oh gonna say, the, I was gonna say you wolf down, so but good. I didn't. Want no, that. I did. Yeah. I wolfed it down. I don't uh, care. You can make fun of my way. Then I ask you all the time. What else? Did, oh, we Pick had the, the fried dough, which was terrible. We didn't have the fried dough. I we had, had the, the fried, fried cookie, cookie dough. dough. Yeah, the fried cookie dough, which is awful. That was zero. Um, then waffle fries, also. Very good. So that was a whole, that was a fair amount of food at the fair. Uh, oh, and then we also bought the um, goat feed uh, for the petting zoo. I'm infuriated. Six dollars for two measly cups to feed. Of course, he was terrified of the goats and the mm -hmm. sheep because they come up to you. Yeah. They weren't that aggressive because I mean they were overfed. Yeah, a couple of them were uh, right, right for slaughter. A few oh. of them were uh, needed a, a little bit of attention. But anyways, yeah, it was probably about two hundred dollars. Now bear in mind, that's crazy. We got there a little after eleven, maybe mm -hmm. close to twelve. We left around five, so five hours of entertainment. Um, we had to leave at five. If we'd stayed another three hours, we would have been up to three hundred, three hundred fifty dollars. I would have been working the fair. I would have been working the fair. Come on, step so, right on up, folks. In what world? Seriously, in what world? It, it, have you ever heard of a family fair now costing two hundred bucks? Welcome to Los Angeles. Am I right? Uh, I'm sure. Shout out. That's a hey, for those of you guys who are uh, going to your own county fair. What are you? What are you spending at your? Uh, your county fair. Everywhere people go. I see the memes now. People say you can't leave the house for less than $100. Well, I look you at can't. it, the 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 family entertainment, you know, let's say we wanted to take KJ to a Dodgers game. That's going to be expensive, too. Oh, Between God. tickets. Uh, I was looking at, um, we were watching uh, uh, Everybody's in L.A. and Weezer was performing. Uh, and, oh, yeah. And I was like, it's like Weezer's playing at um, the, uh, the new stadium that the... Um, uh, that the Clippers are building, I forget what it's called, Intel Dome or something like that. And they're playing in October and tickets are like 200 bucks a pop there too. Like how do you, if you're taking your family out to an event, you're investing easily, like just to go to a, a ball game, you're probably, for the three of us, we're easily investing 300, 400 bucks. Oh, that's like on the low end. That's mm -hmm. like nosebleed seats. Yeah, nosebleeds and Dodger dogs. So I, yeah, I mean, if we have two more children, we're going to have to launch a, a podcast just about how we afford it. We're going to have to show our tips and tricks. Well, it's going to be buying a paywall because we're going to need to make some money off of it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, 99 cents to see how we saved 99 cents. And if you subscribe now and pay an extra dollar, you get to see my feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, it was a very nice Mother's Day weekend. We did that. Our son was so happy. I am a little nervous because he spent most of his time at the model train exhibit. Well, let's go. Let's hold. Me. Let's hold off on that. Let's go back to the inflation thing. Was, oh, well, was that the first time you're like, yes. inflation's real? Yes. Okay. I don't. I told you because I manifest money. I don't pay attention to prices. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I do. No, I read. Because one of us has to. I've read the books Think and Grow Rich. I read a ton of Wayne Dyer, Abraham Hicks. You know, what you ask the universe for, you get. Mm. doesn't matter. The universe doesn't know your socioeconomic status. It doesn't. It's just you have to believe it. You have to think it every day. You you put a number out there of what you want to make monthly. You're, anything is possible in this country. Anything. So I don't look at prices. But I do I'll tell because you, I go I, grocery shopping for us and I see the cost of groceries rising especially in Los Angeles. So yeah, it's real. I, like I said, I, the fair was the first big shocker. And then, oh, oh, I did recently, no, I, I, I deleted it because I was hacked my DoorDash account and then reinstated it. But I will say DoorDash because now again, we, we like to eat nice food, but we were getting in the habit one or two nights a week ordering in mm -hmm. two people because our son will not eat a lot of different things, Indian food, whatever. It was easily getting close to a hundred dollars for delivery. Well, you've got the, That's insanity. the there, there's, well, you've got, you've got the DoorDash fee, you've got the delivery fee, you've got the tip. Um, so, but yeah, it, it's expensive. Bro, that's I'm done. That's insane. Well, we should make our own food then. 
Okay. I, well, we do now. No, I'm actually happy and I'm loving saving money. I'm mm-hmm. loving every week. I go, oh my God, we saved a hundred dollars, hundred dollars. Yep. And then you spend it because I see the clothes coming in Fine, and new pants. Yeah. Well, so it's not really, that's not really how budgets work. You know, I have to buy clothes to stay up on the latest fashions and I don't even buy them. And I only shop four times a year with <laughs> shout out to Braxton, my personal shopper. <laughs> I do. I do, excuse me. You had literally had three different packages come last week. Because this is my this is one this of those times. My first quarter. Okay. It's not, we're now in second quarter. I oh, waited. Wow. <laughs> I waited till the second quarter to shop. I can't wait to track this. That's gonna be great. I'm gonna get a new spreadsheet. I need summer fashion. Okay. okay, thank you. All right. Um anyhow. Yeah, no, no, this is when inflation. No, it's real. Okay. No, I I get it. It's it makes so... it hard. Save up. Save up. Yeah, save up so you can then spend it on what you want to spend. It's it's uh you know what? This is part of this is the reality. People need to be more cautious of what they're spending on uh because costs of goods and services are rising. So be more mindful of what you spend. Is that it or is it our government? Wow. There's our segue. <laughs> this uh seg- this segment is sponsored by Tinfoil Hats. It's Make sure you put your tinfoil hat, hat on. Who do you think is going to pay for all the vaccines and PPP oh, that was given out? That's uh... it gets free. Give me a break. All right, moving on. So, uh, and people agree with me. I think on well, they don't usually agree with me on much, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, actually, wait. Let me thank a sponsor, and then we'll do feedback, and we'll also do this. Um, I just think tinfoil hats. I would love for them to sponsor, okay. and, and I'm not far off with my tinfoil hat. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, let's thank OneSkin. You guys, thanks to you frequenting my sponsors. You continue to have me do this as a full-time job. Don't you love it? I get to give you my opinions. Thank you guys so much. But right now, I want to give you a deal. OneSkin is the world's first skin longevity company. And by focusing on the cellular aspects of aging, OneSkin keeps your skin looking and acting younger for longer. You can get started right now with 15% off using code TSFS at oneskin.co. Now, thanks to you guys, they have been a longtime sponsor of the podcast because so many of you are ordering. That's 15% off oneskin.co with code TSFS. After you purchase, they'll ask where you heard about them. Please say the Sarah Fraser show. What makes OneSkin unique? Well, I use their eye cream and their skin cream. It's the OS01 peptide, which reverses skin's biological age by reducing the number of those zombie cells by 50%. In a third-party 12-week clinical study performed by third-party research organization, One Skin was proven to strengthen the skin barrier, improve skin health markers, and diminish visible signs of aging in 87% of users. Go and read their five-star reviews on their website. Men and women love them. I got to get you using I need to start using that. You have pretty good skin. Men age so gracefully. I'm just so jealous. You look so good. But go to oneskin.co and I use can't wait the promo code PSFS. I love it. They're fragrance free, which is my favorite. Yeah, I don't like fragrance. I know. I can't stand it. It's just, it's like, especially on your face, mm-hmm. you breathe it in all day. So we love them. All right. Uh, anything change for you? We we talked about last week our son being offered a psych evaluation. And we put that clip up on my social media, which garnered almost a hundred comments. It's a lot. Very outspoken people. Some were very upset that we would question. Well, I guess I would question the system and that for many years, people have been advocating for more testing because early intervention is where it's at. Many people are finding out as adults that they are on the spectrum. So does anything change for you? I think I read you some of the the comments. No, I mean, it's all perspective and it sounds, it sounds uh, like the people who uh, commented all had worthwhile uh, viewpoints to share and experiences to share. And, uh, you know, we are blessed in one sense to have a a child with um, few, if any, challenges in his life. I mean, speech speech therapy is is one. And then, he's, you know, he has your ADHD. Um, that's my diagnosis of it. But um, he, um, so we're, you know, for, for us, the early intervention is not necessarily applicable but for the people who shared their experiences it gives us uh gives us another perspective well here's my thing no i stand by what i said we were offered a psych evaluation without any explanation i'm all for early intervention Mm -hmm. i think early intervention is great i do i don't think there is anything wrong with and it never fails to surprise me this is what i think is 
interesting about society, right? Mm -hmm. If you even raise a hand and go, you know, does this all make sense? Everybody, oh my God, you're a conspiracy theorist. There's what's wrong, you know, you, you and your privilege and you... I'm just asking, does anyone think it's odd that they're all tested nonstop? And I'm going to stand by this. We were ordered a psych evaluation without any explanation. That's odd to me. Mm -hmm. If they had written to us and said, hey, we think KJ should do a psych eval. And people said, well, it's a developmental uh, it, it test. It de he did one of those already, guys. This is a psych well, evaluation. It sounds, like, it sounds like having seen some of the comments is, is in terms of the history of testing and opportunities to test that more and more, there's more and more of a standard procedure that might be out there. And um, I think it's more about the research and the advocacy that this is offered now rather than having to be sought. So maybe that is the uh, the disagreement. I think it's, I think that's great. I think it is great that they're being tested. I think it's strange when they come to you. I do. I stand by this. With the psyche eval, they just emailed us and mm -hmm. said, okay, he's finished his developmental test, his speech test. We recommend he continue speech. Oh, and by the way, we're offering a psyche evaluation. Would you like to proceed with the psyche eval? It's like, no, I don't. Thank you for you stepped in and said that as a parent. Hey, if they wrote me and I said, why would they offer this? Oh, just standard. Yeah. Well, there you go. But No. Why? That's crazy to me. Because if you go looking for something, you're going to find it. If they had written to us and they said, you know what, based on his speech assessment, you know, X, Y, Z, and the therapist saw it. You know, Maybe they just didn't think... do a good explanation, a fair enough explanation of what it's for. I don't think there is necessarily an intention of, oh, why don't you come do this? So then your son can have this. The, the one question I have is, can we look into that psych evaluation, but have you do it instead? Because <laughs> if that's available, I would like to sign up. I've been in therapy for a decade. They don't recommend anything to me. Okay. So, you know, you, you, you think you're with someone that needs deep analysis. Well, I've, I've had multiple therapists. <laughs> None of them say anything. They say, oh, you know, you got normal problems like everybody else. Okay. Well, Moving on. Anyhow, I appreciate everyone's feedback. I liked, I enjoyed reading. Those. Good engagement. Good engagement, folks. I, I like Keep it coming. Them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here was another comment. Great episode when you and Shvan talked about youth sports. My eight-year-old son stuck out, struck out all three times yesterday, and I had him listen to Shman talking about resilience and how to work through it. It was so timely and helpful. Love Shman episodes and your dynamic together. So look at you. You're wow. coaching through TSFM. Look at that. You can't turn it off like my charm. And where's my thank you for elevating you? To, um... Wow. <laughs> and we pivot right back to the focus of the show. You, uh, you know what? I'm eternally grateful for you giving me this uh, platform to um, help make the world a better place. Well, Thank you. Not all heroes wear capes. I love you. No, it's fun. It's fun to do it with you. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. Okay. The other topic we wanted to discuss, because this was a Reddit, you know, you know, the am I an asshole thread that people go Somewhat on? Somewhat familiar. Yeah. Okay. So it's a very popular Reddit thread. Now there's even a podcast reading it and people anonymously post, you know, am I an asshole for doing this? Yeah. So this one has sparked a lot of recent debate. A woman has uh, revealed that she only wants to take her biological child to Disney, insisting that her boyfriend can pay for her stepkids, meaning his children. The unnamed mom from the U.S. took to Reddit's Am I an A-hole thread to candidly detail her dilemma. The 31-year-old explained how she had been left in quite the predicament due to her partner's unstable financial situation. And it has readers divided. Mm -hmm. I want to know your thoughts. The mom began by explaining that she shares a two-year-old daughter with her boyfriend, but that he has two other kids ages nine and eight from a previous relationship. She wrote, I'm the breadwinner due to him not being able to keep the good jobs. We lost our rental a couple of months ago due to his lack of financial responsibility. I do not know. I did not know he wasn't making payments towards certain bills. Therefore, me paying for everything plus play, playing catch up became too much. During these past couple of months, we have been living with his parents and our goal was to pay off our debt. Well, I've caught up on nearly 10,000 on debt while he's been able to only pay off 500. I do give him grace knowing he doesn't make much money. 
However, she wants to, they want to go to Disney and she wants him to pay for his own stepchildren. Seeking advice from readers, she concluded, so my question is, would I be the a-hole if I decided to make it a trip with just my biological kid and I and him paying his way if he can afford it? I hate this situation, but I'm a firm believer in not letting my kid lose out on experiences if others aren't willing to do that for them. This is why I work so hard so she will never miss out on anything and have everything she wants and needs. Oh, okay. So what There's a lot to unpack that? here. All right. A lot to unpack. What you do in this? Well, if you're that far in the rears financially, how about not go to Disney and save the money until you can go? That, But let's, let's put all that terrible financial organization and, and detail to the side. I at first agreed with that too, which is what much of most Reddit is saying. They're like, girl, if you're moving back, you've moved back in with his parents, put that money towards like a new rental. Mm -hmm. Why are you, what in the you, world? You can find, uh, take all that off the side and, and just let's, let's assume for the sake of argument, we're just talking about the bonus kids. Right. And it's just who who's responsible for what and that goes back to whatever dynamic you and your partner have decided on in terms of how your family is going to work. You know, like it, we we joke about the um, Catholic uh, learning classes that we went to where one of the speaker was talking about, like, you, if you haven't had a conversation about finances, um, you need to. And I remember looking at a couple uh sitting at the table is us kind of looking at each other with big eyes open like oh we haven't had this conversation yet but we've we've had we've always had conversations in terms of uh when when you were making a ton of money and we were living it up in arlington you 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 paid most of the rent and then so when the when back. when the tables turned i ended up paying more of the rent um and now we have you know we're married so all of our funds are in one account um, except for the ones that I hide secretly, but that's a whole separate conversation by myself. Well, I hide mine too. I, I have my own business accounts. Whoa, look at that. Um, so with this couple, it goes back to like, what is their dynamic? And, and they need to sort out, they need to sort that piece out because she shouldn't be paying for these other kids unless they are in it. Like, unless they are a true family. Yeah, that, it sounds to me right. She's almost got one foot out with him. Like mm -hmm. she probably loves him, but she's not really sure she's going to stay. Because here's the thing, though. I know you and I would do the same because I love kids so much. If if you had stepchildren or if I had stepchildren, you would pay their way. Absolutely. You would never take just KJ to Disney and exclude them. If they're part of our family, then they're going to be included. And in fact, I would rather pay the kids and just say them to them, okay, we're all going. Mm -hmm. It's obviously a lot more money. So everybody can do four rides. Like I'd rather, but you know, but I get what she's saying. See, she doesn't want her daughter to miss out on maybe doing, because we've done the whole Disney extravaganza with my niece, the mm -hmm. princess breakfast at the castle and the whole, all the add-ons that are a fortune, right? Yep. So she's like, I don't want my daughter to miss out on that. And I do make good money. Well, that's, I, and that's, I still, no, it's a tough I, one. I couldn't it's do a it. Tough, I couldn't do that. It's a tough that, one. I, what, what that, Red fails to clarify is what is the dynamic with the other two kids? Are they part of the household normally? Are they are they split custody? Um, it comes you don't want to you don't want to exclude. Plus, if you can afford to pay for those other kids, now you get to lord it over the uh the baby mama, be like, Yeah, I took your kids to Disneyland, eat it, boom. I don't think that's a healthy dynamic. I don't no, think you're supposed to do things like isn't that how everyone has such troubles in their relationships, tit for tat? I think. I'm a sucker for this. I would just your daughter. Her, their daughter's young, didn't they? Say the daughter's two, like, years, two or three years old. Okay, forget. Well, it. don't she take your kid. Don't take your kid to Disney until they're six. If you intend to be with this man and you love this man, you need to pay for the kids. It's not their fault. You can't. You can't no, make them. Yeah. You know, you can't make them pay for his. First of all, I'd say if this were you mm -hmm. and you did this to me, now we've <laughs> we've had our moments with your tag stuff. And I said, I would sit you down. I'd say, okay. I let you, I gave you free reign. <laughs> what? Go on. I gave you free reign mm -hmm. to do the what you wanted with the finance. Didn't work. Yeah. So I love you. I want to make this work. Mm -hmm. But every two weeks, you're putting that money into my account. I will designate, we'll, we'll, we're saving this. 
We're just doing, you know, here's the budget mm -hmm. and you get X amount of money to spend the way you want. You can go fan duel it, whatever you want to do, but this is your just allowance. Just one bet away, just one bet away from making it all back. Uh, that's all you have for the mm -hmm. week. If you want to spend, well, that's this, it. No, that's, it's this. Because you, I, I've there's a lot, this. there's a lot in this, in that thread about this guy can't keep a job, can't manage finances. Girl, you need to walk away and take your daughter with you. How about that? Look. Okay, you say I need a psych evaluation. When I was seeing my therapist, Robin, before you and I did couples therapy and I married you, I would have all these complaints about you. And she would say to me, look, you've got to make up your mind because if you want to be with a man that looks like Tom Brady, he has other issues. Okay, so Tom Brady, narcissistic workaholic. Do you want, are what every man and every woman, every person has something. True. They're hot, but they're bad with money. Mm -hmm. They're hideous but they're great with money and they're kind, you know, they're, but they're not mm -hmm. the most attractive human being out there. So what are you willing? Sure. Now I think I, I got the lottery because you are handsome. Mm. Are you Tom Brady? I mean, no, know, but exactly. give me some Ozempic and some jawline surgery and some hair transplant. Hey, you're so handsome. I think oh, thank you're gorgeous. you. And thank you. You know, you still got it. You were checking out that woman on the way to the park yesterday, which was- She had a dog. No, like did this dog. amazing ass. And you, you know, you were like stuck there. Like, you know, you'd been hypnotized. It's like, hello. <laughs> I said, And I finally had to say to you, Schman, like, eyes over here. You've got the right prize right over here. You don't need, you were like- I can't, I can't admire <laughs> something from a distance. No, you admired for too long. Wow. It was getting, if she turned around and seen your eyes, she would have called 911. It was so stalkerish. I was wearing sunglasses. So she couldn't have seen my eyes. <laughs> I'm not like, I'm sorry. I'm not Giselle Bunchen either. So it's not like I'm this tall- be, you're you know. my Giselle. Well, you're my Tom. Like oh. I'm really lucky. Mm -hmm. But you have to. So I don't think she can throw. Maybe he's great, but he just can't manage his money. So then it's like that's when you have the heart to heart. Yeah. That's when. Okay, fair enough. Good I advice. I, I hope. Uh, I hope the people on Reddit get to hear this podcast and be like that. That brought on Sarah Fraser show. Sure, uh, had a good take on it. You've given me some ultimatums. Like you do not want certain things in our lives publicized on this podcast and i have to run things by you that's the control look, look at the control. control i put up with guys look at this look at this control any other topics no that was okay. it that's it that's all we got yeah okay we do a tight show we do all right man well i'll see you next week oh i i and anybody that has interesting topics i want to hear them yeah fire away contact us uh dm uh email the Sarah Fraser show at gmail.com kicking ourselves. We should have done like a mother's day one, what you should do for mother's day, what you shouldn't, what's uh make a note for uh next year before well, mother's day. We can do father's, mother's day. day. Father's day is coming up and your birthday is coming up. So maybe we'll do something around spouses, birthdays and. Yeah. Sounds exciting. All right. Bye everybody. Bye.